Hello, welcome to my channel. I have not done a video with my voice in a really long time. And as I record this, I'm not 100% feeling well. But I got this in the mail through Amazon. A while ago, actually. It's like, I think a week. And because I've been feeling sick, I have not brought myself to open it. But today, I at least want to open it and feed the markers inside. I completely forgot the name of the markers, so here's the name of the markers. So let's just get into it. Oh my goodness, he got it open. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Have mercy. This is not a professional channel, so I'm sorry for this unesthetically opening box thing. Even the box looks nice compared to some of the other boxes I've opened before. Markers. So this is the box. I got the 120 set of brush markers. Anyways. I'm already tearing apart the box. I'm so sorry. Alright, I removed her from the box. This is the case that it brings. It's a very thick case. It has a velcro on the side. Oh my goodness. shiny oh wow they look they look nice I'm gonna be doing a voiceover while I draw because <laughs> while I was drawing it was a bit noisy so I guess my overall thoughts of the markers they worked really well they were really juicy there was juicy as in they had a lot of ink on both like the brush tip and the chisel tip nib or tip I don't know what people prefer but they're really nice to work with and they weren't like Crayolas, like the brush actually felt like a brush you were using if you were painting with a regular brush because I know some marker brands the brush tip is more like a Crayola marker but these weren't they were somewhat more like Copic they're really flexible and easy to use I also like how when you layer the markers it actually darkens faster unlike other markers which I feel like I guess isn't necessarily a pro or a con because some artists may enjoy that while others may absolutely hate it but I really liked it because I have trouble like darkening colors I have. I feel like the only con to this was the paper they gave to you. It was like it bled through a lot. It didn't really hold the marker and it was more like paper, like regular paper instead of marker paper because marker paper is rather thick but this one was really thin and like it made the colors look more like watercolor or I guess the appearance of it because it had like like <laughs> Because the paper had a lot of little dots, like if it was somewhat like watercolor, like it didn't really stay opaque, if that makes sense. But in my sketchbook, as I will show you here, it held the marker a lot better because my sketchbook is mixed media paper. 
so it held the colors a lot nicer it still had a little bit of that i guess watercolor effect where it has like little dots of white and i know a lot of artists may dislike that because i guess the quality they're looking for like straight on colors but um i don't know it, it, i might mind it i mean i might mind it <laughs> I did mind it a little bit, but I didn't mind it so much. So if you're looking for, I guess, markers for beginners, or like if you're completely fine with this little different silver marker, then I feel like these are for you. I feel like that's the only con I have to these markers because they layer really well. They have really nice color variety. The brush nib is really nice. Even the way the markers are designed is very useful and not like annoying. Other than that, Oh no, I lied. There's, <laughs> there's two things. <laughs> two things. You can't put the cap on the other end of the marker, and you also, the color of the nib isn't exactly like the color of the, I guess, when the of the marker when you use it. They're like, there's some, most of them are actually really similar. I feel like it's more of the darker colors that I guess are a little off. But then again, I feel like with every marker, so you should swatch them before. There was no discoloration between chisel nib or brush nib. Overall, I really enjoyed these markers and even the case, it was like beautiful. I got to like prop it up to an angle and I get to see all the markers perfectly. It was really nice. Um, I no longer have these markers. I know, I'm saying it's a beautiful marker and I don't have them anymore. <laughs> I do not have them anymore. <laughs> um, because of personal reasons, I already have a ton of markers and I feel like I'm more closer to watercolor rather than markers but then again this video is so late for reviewing them so if you're looking for a cheaper alternative and like wide variety of colors and like you're looking for quality well I feel like enough quality for beginners I feel like these markers are really well and I also went over the illustration with colored pencil and like pens well, less pens, but more gel pens, like for highlights, the white little highlights on the frogs and the flowers. But overall, these worked really well. The last thing I will be showing is pricing per marker with Ohuhu markers, Sanjoki markers, and also the two versions of Copic markers. I thoroughly gave my review of the Sanjoki markers. I do have Ohuhu markers and Copic markers myself. However, I would highly suggest Ohuhu markers and Sanjoki markers if you are just a beginner because Copics are a lot more on the pricey side. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications for all notifications of this channel. My Etsy shop, my Instagram, and all my other socials are linked below. You can check them out if you like. The art materials will also be linked in the description with my social medias. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you come back next video. Please do. <laughs> Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Bye!